Amen. You are the temple. Amen. The temple is your body where the Holy Spirit dwells. Bless the Lord. Bless and if the Holy Spirit dwells in your temple, then we have to be mindful of the things that we do in the temple of God. Amen? Amen. So as I was saying earlier, that a lot of times our weakness beset us, overthrow us, because we do not what? What's the word? I said it. What was the word? Sons of David. Because we do not recognize the sin. We don't recognize the weakness. We don't recognize that, you know, there's something that is keeping us back. Bless the name of Jesus. And I use that example. Go ahead, Sister Grace. Yes. Um, when I was much younger in the faith, there are some sins that I didn't really love and love to do them. Right. But see, I mean, by reading the word of God and realize that certain thing is not of God, mm -hmm. then I, you know, begin to aid them. And I begin to put it before God. Mm -hmm. I said, God, I cannot do it of myself mm -hmm. because I was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. In so, Father God, I want you to take away this from me. Let me tell you something. You used to love your gossip, you know, your people, business, and all like that. Know what was happening in the community. But you see, when we put it before God, mm -hmm. and God wash me and take mm -hmm. that away from me, because to me, it's like a demon. You understand that like a demon. And here and then, when I realize that the people that I speak with, they are the ones who go back and say things that I do not say. Then I realize that it is not something that somebody must love and dwell with. Because sometimes you don't say anything. You Right. But the person go back and say, you say it. Because they don't want something wrong right here. Right. This is a spirit. So anytime we recognize what we are you doing have to is wrong, right. then yes, right. we have to have right. the mindset to change. Yes. Yes. Because yes. The, the, the book said, the Bible, what I realized that the preacher said, let the mind of Christ be in you. Yes. Because everything that we do first, Perform in the mind. Yes. 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 in the mind. Yes. 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 You should win the spirit of the line come. You can't tell the lion. You can't. Because the Holy Ghost lift up after yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Even if you try, you can't. Yes. Amen, amen. Somebody so amen. 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 Praise God. So yes, we are, you know, naming out a few. And let me tell you, man, gossiping is something that kills church. Yes. Gossiping kills church. Amen. As I was saying, now, when you have the love of Christ, you're not going to gossip against your brother or your sister. No. You're going to call that brother or sister in love because you want to protect your temple. Yes. You want to keep your temple pure and holy where the Lord dwells. And not just, you know, the things that we do in the temple. We have to be careful to how we present the temple. Yes. How we dress the temple. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have to be modest in our daily walk. We cannot go on the road looking any and any way. Somebody must can still can look at you and say, oh, Sister Jessica changed man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because the thing that Sister Jessica used to wear as a sinner, when she come over to Christ, amen, we're not expecting her to be wearing them still. So if you used to like the like, little like, like sharp rider and the, uh, what do they call it now? Body blows. <laughs> Amen. When you come to Christ, you're not gonna go to road in a in a belly skin a short ride a short. You understand, sister? You have to cover the temple. Amen. Amen. You have to cover the temple. Yes. The Praise temple God. must be pure. The temple must clean. The temple must be holy. Amen. So you have to cover the temple. It's not just. The fact that you're gonna abstain, you know, because your weakness are fornication, your weakness are liar, your weakness are gossiping. So I have to cover the temple to too. Recognize it now and fast and pray about, about it. it. But you also have to be mindful of how you adorn the temple. Yes. Amen. You never really step into a temple. Has anybody ever been to a Catholic church? You've been to, you know, this the Catholic Church are done. Yes. Everything is so adorned in the Catholic Church. Amen. Well robed, well covered. So we have to keep the temple covered. Amen. You can't go and do the temple and 
and do any and anything and dress it any and any yeah. home any and, and home. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So come on, people of God. We know some of you here know some hundred like for me here, yeah. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> so if you have to fix up the hair, fix up the hair with modesty. You understand? You don't, I don't expect that as child of God, they will have a little go fix up here. Oh, when you look at it down here, so you just flash it to the Yes, oh God. Flash it to the Come on. <laughs> we have to be modest in what we do when yes. we are representing God. God, amen. That's the name of Jesus. A pastor in the church don't wear jewelry. Um, that our custom, but if you feel like you want to wear your jewelry, I am not gonna be in a backbone to tell you this that that because the Holy Ghost have to convict you. Yes. But Amen. We do it with modesty. Oh yes. Come on, people of God. Amen. We cover our heads. Some people are like the big halifantia hat we can hold ten people. Oh, Come on, no make it be truthful, no. Amen. But we use modesty and we cover the head. Come on now. Amen. Amen. Be mindful in the clothes that we wear. We use modesty and we wear the clothes so we have the room in our show the world not over God giving. Come on now. Yeah. yeah, some Christians you know more yeah. than in a church. Because when you see them everything up there, say hello world. Yeah. You understand everything there is like a million what's the money? <laughs> and you understand what I'm saying. I'm being real. And this is Come on now, woman of God. Which are the real colors? Oh, yeah. And people of God. Amen. You have some pink. Pink and yellow, them long, black and bad. And some pink, green, yellow, orange color. This is the apostle of the church. You have to teach the truth. You know? Praise God. We are not saying that you cannot fix yourself and put yourself together. Together, right? But we have to use modesty, modesty. and wisdom. wisdom. Amen. Right? Jesus. You belong to God. I mean, you have your body, but you belong to God. You represent God. When you speak, you represent God. When you dress, you, you represent, represent God. God. When you behave, you, you represent, represent God. God. Your attitude represents God. You are not of the world. Amen. So you have to be mindful of everything, everything. that you do. Amen. Because why you have to be mindful? Why? Talk to me Sunday school. Why do we have to be mindful? You know a child of God. There are peculiar people 
You're a child of God, but you're not of your own. That's the answer I'm looking for. Bless the name of Jesus. For he are brought with a price. God have already paid your redemption and Calvary cross. You were bought with a price through the blood of the Jesus. slain lamb. Bless the name of Jesus. So that blood that was shed was already paid for your for. sin. Come on. So what? What 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 is it? When Jesus died, everything had died. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. When Jesus died, everything had died. Amen? And, you know, so therefore, if there was dramatic darkness or anything that was of not righteousness and holiness, when Christ Jesus died on the cross, everything died. Amen? Amen. So, therefore, you were bought with a price. So when you're bought with a price, you know, you are no peculiar people. You are what? Royalty. You ever, you ever watch the African movies uh, and see how the royalty them dress? Uh? Yeah. Mm? You can look at them and know that they are royalty. Yeah. Come on now. Uh? Yeah. You keep the way how they dress, you know that it's a, it's a king and them daddy, you know. Yeah. And them a king and what me are what? Princess. Yeah. So they have to dress yeah. and look like a princess. Yeah. So when Jesus but amen, you is a Christ. You are no royalty into Christ. So therefore, how you present yourself is important. You've got to look the look up. Come on now, woman of God. Amen. You can't pretend like you're in Christ. And you hope you're not really in Christ. You're doing something Anything else. else right. You must can't look and say, Sister Vita is a child of God. Amen. amen. Because sometimes people that argued and said that she, you know, people dress in the long skirt and not living no life. Mm -hmm. But guess what? The long skirt doesn't cover your sin and it doesn't cover for holiness. But at least you are representing the, the temple. temple of God. Amen. Amen. So what is going on in the body that is not righteous now? Bless God. Once you what? Recognize it and go to God in fasting and prayer. Amen. The sister testify you can't come in contact with God. And, and still be the same. Come on, give God worship. Hallelujah. Because you bought with a price. And because you're bought with a price, you must therefore glorify God in your body. Amen. But for us to glorify God in the body, the body has to be what? Clean. clean. Holy, clean, clean yes. pure, pure, righteous. Yes. So we speak of sanctified. We speak about putting aside all the things that easily beset us, Amen. that would hinder us from when we come in the presence of God. The word of God said, God is a spirit. And, and they that worship, worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. And yes, come Lord. In the presence of God, whatever blessing is full in, my God Almighty, no erosion is not in the temple, no blockage is not in the temple, no morass and cobweb is not in the temple. Then the Holy Spirit flow free. Come on now. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. No, so sir. The word black is not there. So when you come at church, sister, you get healing, full healing. Yes, Jesus. Not 50%, not 20%, but 100% healing. Because the temple is pure. Amen. Come on, Amen. Amen. bless the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen. Therefore, you glorify God in your body and in your spirit. Which are God. So Paul was exhorting the Corinth brethren. Your body is the temple of God. Amen. Amen? Amen. So your body must be pure because you were bought with a price Amen. and therefore you glorify God in the body. Amen. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. We have come to the end of the Sunday school. Amen. I hope you 